Hey guys, today I will be discussing the betting odds for the 2020 presidential election and where the money is at right now. So if you don't know how betting odds work, basically let's say if Donald Trump is an 80% share or 80 cent share for winning the state of Montana, basically if he were to win the state and if you put in 80 cents, you would win $1 for every 80 cents that you put in, which would give you a net gain of 20 cents. And if Joe Biden were to win this state and if he had a 20 cent share, if he were to win Montana on election night, then he would win, of course, a net profit of a if you would win a net profit of 80 cents for every 20 cents that you put in basically you would be winning the entire dollar and if you bet wrong you basically lose all the money that you put in so some states really are not too interesting to talk about this is similar to electoral map however some states are very solid even if they are not expected to go to the candidate with a solid margin so these solid blue states which really we do not need to talk about are of course all of the west coast states hawaii is also on this list along with colorado and new mexico these two states may not go to biden with a solid margin but the chances of going to him are very high as they're expected to be around 13 or 14 percent on election night right now the state of virginia is also in this category along with the state of Illinois, New York, as well as most of the East Coast is all solid for Joe Biden based on the betting odds right now, as well as the main at-large vote and the main first district vote are also very solid for the former vice president. So to get this gives Joe Biden 212 electoral votes. For President Trump, the solid states are Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, most of these rural states, as well as Nebraska's at-large and first and third district vote, with the second districts of both Nebraska and Maine being toss-ups for right now. Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, as well as most of the Deep South are also very solid for the president. And Indiana and Alaska are also in this category, giving Donald Trump 125 electoral votes. So in this video, these are the states I'm really going to focus on. It's these states that are going to decide the election. And I'm just going to first talk about these two districts just to get them out of the way. So first, the second district of Nebraska. Joe Biden has been leading pretty consistently in this state. His chances have been pretty much around 50 to 70 percent. A um, minimum chance of 56 that it was his worst in the second district of Nebraska. However, the days after the RNC in early September, his lead has basically been around 65, 67 cents and a Donald Trump at around 30 3 to 35 so it's been pretty stable for the last couple of weeks but Joe Biden is currently expected to win the state of Nebraska and the second district of Maine is also something I want to talk about currently Joe Biden 86 cent share to Donald Trump with just 15 Biden chances here have always been pretty high although the polling number um, the polling numbers really do not suggest that this is going to be the case. He is still expected to win, however, by a really small margin, much smaller than the margins he is expected to have in Nebraska. However, he currently has an 85% chance of winning to Donald Trump with just 15. So that is definitely very good. Another district that Joe Biden is currently expected to flip, the second district of Maine. And the first state I want to talk about is the state of Nevada. Six electoral votes will be pretty important to a Biden victory. This was a state that Trump was expected to carry in 2016. He led by 0.1% in the polls here on election night, but Hillary Clinton outperformed in this state by 2.5%, winning the state by a whole 2.4% on election night. Currently, Joe Biden has a 77 cent share to President Trump with a 26 cent share. Uh, Trump's numbers have gone up here recently. However, he is still miles away from Joe Biden right now in the state of Nevada. Following that is the state of Arizona, 11 electoral votes. This is a state that went to Trump in 2016 by 3.8%, and Joe Biden has always been expected to win this state. His lead was dwindling after the RNC after um, in the late weeks, in the late days of the month of August. However, once September came around, Biden's numbers increased here significantly. I think that Trump's comments on John McCain, as well as the McCain family, just all coming out and supporting Joe Biden, along with Trump's comments on the military here, and especially calling John McCain as some really ugly names, I think is definitely going to hurt him here, and definitely has hurt his chances of winning in the state of Arizona, which I think is one of the most important states for President Trump right now. 
Following that, we have the state of Texas, 38 electoral votes. This is a state that Trump cannot win re-election without. So the state of Texas is definitely very important to the president. Currently, Joe Biden is down with a 29 cent share to Donald Trump with a 72 percent share. And looking at this graph here, Donald Trump has always been expected to win it. He may not be doing that well for a Republican. He's only leading by around 1% in the polls right now, but he still has a 73% chance of winning this state. And I think that is pretty accurate just because no matter how well he does, I really cannot see Joe Biden flipping Texas in 2020. 2024 definitely could be much better for the Democratic candidate, but 2020, I really do not think Joe Biden stands a chance here. He may do very well, but he is not going to flip the state. So I'm gonna put the state of Texas in to the Trump column. Following that is the state of Minnesota. So the state of Minnesota currently, uh, Joe Biden has a 76% share right now to Donald Trump with a 27% or a 27 cent share. Basically cent and percent can basically be used interchangeably just because it's all out of a dollar. So currently Joe Biden's up at 77 cents to Donald Trump with 27 cents per share. So Biden's numbers did go down in late August after the RNC when Trump's numbers were actually up here in the state of Minnesota. However, since then Biden's numbers have climbed all the way back up in both the polling data and the betting odds. So betting odds is not a reflection of the polling data, but can definitely be affected by it, which is why in the state of Texas, even though Biden was leading in the state, Biden was never expected to win the state based on the betting odds. But Minnesota numbers went up for Biden in the polls. His numbers in terms of his betting odd numbers have also gone up for the former vice president. So Minnesota, I'm going to put into the Biden column. And following that is the state of Iowa. Currently, Donald Trump has a 69% chance of winning this state to Joe Biden with 32 cents. Now, as you can see, Biden's chances here have increased since the summer during Biden's peak period. Biden's numbers have dropped. He now has a 31 cent share to Trump with 70 cents. So Trump is doing relatively well here in the state of Iowa. However, he should be doing much better considering that he won this state by 9.1% in 2016. So Iowa, I'm going to put into the Trump column. And then the state of Wisconsin is next. Currently, Joe Biden has a 68% chance of winning the state to President Trump with only 35% here. This is also a state that Trump carried in 2016 by around 0.8%. And the numbers here have been pretty consistent for Joe Biden up until the Republican National Convention, when his numbers really dipped down to only 55 cents per share to Donald Trump with 47. However, after that, his numbers came straight up in the beginning of September. He's now up at 68 cents, Trump down at 35. So the state of Minnesota, I'm not Minnesota, Wisconsin, I'm going to put into the Biden column for right now. Following that is the state of Michigan, Joe Biden 72% chance here, Donald Trump 29. And this state's different from the states of Michigan, or not Michigan, Minnesota, or Wisconsin. Biden's numbers did not drop after the RNC too significantly. They did see a little bit of a dip here. However, his numbers have stayed relatively consistent here in Michigan. And Michigan, although Trump won the state in 2016, Biden was always expected to win this state in 2020. So Michigan, I'm going to put in to the Biden column as well. That puts him out, uh, up at 267 electoral votes, according to our betting odds map right now, only three electoral votes away from hitting 270. The state of Ohio is next. Donald Trump's 65% chance of winning the state to Joe Biden with 37. This is a state that Trump carried by over 8%, 8.1% for the president in 2016 against Hillary Clinton. And this is also a state that Barack Obama, along with Joe Biden as his running mate, won in both 2008 and 2012. But looking at this state, this state has moved very much to the right after the Obama era. And as you can see here, Donald Trump's 65% chance of winning it. Joe Biden, 37%. His numbers were up pretty high in the summer at its peak. However, of course, they have come down since then. So Ohio is going to be put into the Trump column for now. Following that is the state of Pennsylvania. This is the final Rust Belt state that Trump won by less than 1% in 2016. Joe Biden currently has a 64 cent share or share here in the state to Donald Trump with 38 cents. His numbers here have fallen and that is reflective of his polling numbers. He is still definitely in the lead and expected to win, but his chances are not 
not as great as they were just a couple of months here in his peak period. He was up at 76%, I mean, 76 cent per share for winning the state of Pennsylvania. This is his birth state. However, his numbers have still stayed relatively consistent, but they're not as good as they were before. So the state of Pennsylvania, I'm going to put into the Biden column as well, but it's going to be a lean state. Following that is the state of New Hampshire. This is a state that Clinton won by 0.4%. She definitely did very horribly here. New Hampshire does neighbor Vermont, which is the home state of Bernie Sanders, and a lot of those voters did not support Clinton as much and dismay. And, you know, Bernie Sanders does have a lot of supporters in New Hampshire as well, a primary that he won both in 2016 and now in 2020. But the state of New Hampshire is looking much better for Biden than it was for Clinton. Joe Biden did only come in fifth place here in the primaries, but he has a 70% chance of winning the state. Of course, his numbers did drop after the RNC. They have not seemed to have recovered, but he is still by far in the lead, over a 40% lead right now for Joe Biden, less than 40%, 39% for Joe Biden in the state of New Hampshire. So New Hampshire, I'm also going to put into the Biden column for now, putting him up at 291 electoral votes, which means yes, he is going to win the election based off of this map. The state of North Carolina is next. Currently, he has a 48% chance to Donald Trump with 53%. I think it's pretty surprising to see that Donald Trump is ahead here. Personally, in my opinion, I think Joe Biden is going to carry this state. Of course, Trump's numbers went up after the Republican National Convention. Biden's numbers were, of course, very high in the midsummer. However, since then, they have fallen quite quite a bit, all the way down to 42 cents at his worst. Now he is still pretty neck and neck with the president. I think that Joe Biden, considering that he's been leading in the polls for the entire election cycle, is going to flip the state of North Carolina. This is a state that Barack Obama won in 2008, but lost very narrowly in 2012. But looking at this chart, Trump is expected to retain it, but I think Biden is still going to carry it. If I was betting on this state, I would be betting on Joe Biden right now, but I'm going to put it into the Trump column as it is currently a Trump state, according to the betting markets. So the state of Georgia, Donald Trump, 66 cents per share, Joe Biden, the rest, 34 cents. The numbers here, of course, were closer in midsummer. However, since then, Trump's numbers have increased now up to 65%. Biden is still expected to do very well, much better than Clinton's numbers in 2016, but he is still not expected to win the state. He does have a 1 in 3 chance, which I think is still pretty good for a Democratic candidate in Georgia, and I think he's definitely making gains towards the state of Georgia possibly flipping blue in 2024 or 2028. So the state of Georgia, I'm going to put into the Trump column. The Senate races here for the Republicans and Democrats are expected to be one and one for each party. Uh, the Democrats winning the normal election, he, they are expected to do that right now. And the Republicans winning the special election for the Senate in the state of Georgia currently. So Georgia, honestly, I think is a pretty good toss-up state, but Georgia is still leaning towards Donald Trump right now. And we have our final state, the state of Florida, 29 electoral votes. And as you can see, Joe Biden is currently expected to carry the state. 53 cents per share to Donald Trump with 50 cents. This state is currently very, very close. I think that Florida is going to definitely be one of the closest states. It always is. Of course, it went to Al Gore, I mean, George W. Bush, by 537 votes in the year 2000, giving him the election. And it's gone to candidates by even closer margins in previous elections. The state of Florida, no matter what race it is, what year it is, you know, which candidates are on the ballot, the state of Florida is always very close. And one of Biden's main issues here is the Hispanic vote. He has not been able to capture the same amount of Hispanic support that Clinton was able to. He has been able to carry a lot more of the African-American support that Clinton was able to garner in 2016. But in terms of Latino support, Joe Biden is definitely lacking right now. And so looking at the numbers here, Trump's numbers did go up. In early September, they have seemed to gone down a little bit. Joe Biden has regained the lead. This is after Michael Bloomberg announced that he would be spending $100 million in ads for the Biden campaign in this state, which I think is definitely very good news for Joe Biden. And as Donald Trump's campaign does seem to be losing money, which is something I talked about in my last video, but 
Of course, right now, Joe Biden is in the lead, so I'm going to put the state of Florida into the Biden column right now. So this gives Joe Biden 320 electoral votes to Donald Trump with 218. According to this map, Joe Biden would be flipping the states of Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Florida, as well as the second district of both Nebraska and Maine from the 2016 map. And the swing states that Donald Trump would be able to hold on to are the states of Iowa, Texas, Ohio, Georgia, and surprisingly, North Carolina. So this is the 2020 betting odds map as of right now for the 2020 presidential election between President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. And Joe Biden is expected to win the election with 320 electoral votes according to where the money is at right now. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on this video as well as subscribing to my channel. Really appreciate all of your support lately and comment your thoughts in the comment section below along with any suggestions you'd like to see from me for future videos and I will see you in the next one.